Uh, do I need to talk to any of these other freaks? Anyone else? You guys got any side quests for me? Doesn't seem like it. Freya doesn't. What a shock. Should we ask him? Don't be rude. What's rude about asking for help? Big Veer, my love. Focus on your work. You need to weave those tighter. Yo, you want to ask me for help? Your alliance is unusual. I, I think what Kratos is trying to say is he's never seen a light elf and dark elf work together. It's a welcome sight. Hopefully one day, a common one. Mimir tells me you're something of an adventurer. Should you ever find your way to the Forbidden Sands and Alfheim? Contested territory. Past the barons. There are rumors of a sanctum, and artifacts our elders don't want us to see. Anything that sheds light on our suppressed history would benefit all of Alfheim. Uncovering secret history? Sounds like my kind of adventure. Knowledge of the elves' common ancestry is what brought us together. Stories of Alfheim before the division of light and dark. It's very taboo. Didn't stop you from spreading word of it. Which is how you ended up in prison. Prison indeed. No, I wanted to look at the lore. She and I met. As enemies, naturally, but escaped as friends. More than friends. You can stop talking. Okay. <clears throat> Good luck out there. How very nice. Oh, hello, Freya. Fancy seeing you standing less than a foot behind me. If I may ask, do you miss Alfheim? You mean, do I miss the light? Do you? The truth? I still feel its pull. You want nothing else when you're near it. And away from it, you're only biding time until you can drink again from the light. But then again, the light does not make good food. It doesn't play music or tell jokes or open your eyes to new things. It makes you run in place. The more I am away from it, the more I see it for what it really is. And I don't need it anymore. I appreciate your candor. What a nice little discussion you guys Someone just had. Going oh. to ask me if I miss the light? Of course. How rude of me. In their defense, love, you are usually not the most talkative. Talk to me. I will speak. From birth, we are taught the light is everything. The elders say it is why we fight. But all of that, it's shit. Okay. I am more than the hive, more than a soldier. Light elves, dark elves, all elves are the same. Stubborn, brainless as moths, blinded by their light. I know better now. I looked into the shadows, and there I found my people. My home. That is all I have to say. You can go away. Thank you for sharing. Question mark? I right. hope we have a chance to talk further, Mimir. Always nice to meet a fellow scholar. Talk to him. And Kratos, I understand your homeland is famed for philosophers. When things quiet down, I'd love to hear their ideas and your own. I have nothing to say that will interest you. Nonsense, brother. I've heard many a wise word past those sunburned lips. <laughs> it's all right, Mimir. My wife is much the same way. Careful. Uh, quiet, but very deep. Acceptable. <laughs> <laughs> she loves me so much. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. That's actually great. Mimir, how dare you tell them that Kratos' lips are sunburned? That's supposed to be a secret. What the heck is this? What on earth? I love it. Alright, so we gotta go back to Alfheim sometime. We'll get back to there eventually. Uh, I don't think there's... Where'd Freyr go? I don't think there's anything. I can't walk back there. I don't think there's anything else we need, really. Oh, here's Freyr. Freyr, you got anything for me, brother? Hey. Yeah, I'm glad it worked. Uh, whatever you helped to do out there. I'm still not sure I totally get you, or what your deal is, but as long as you have her back, I'll have yours. Killed your nephew. Just Kratos things. Alright, good chat, good chat. 
Uh, b big guy with big sword. You got anything to say before I go? Anything about your your cool looking dog here? I thought this was a pig at first when I saw it with the way it's laying down. Oh, I pushed him a little bit. All right, he, he doesn't like to chat. I can respect that. Let's get the heck on up out of here then. We've got places to, to go. Look for a gateway. Follow me. Well, you two seem to be getting on since completing your mission. Dare I hope this alliance has some staying power after all? It seems to me we share a common enemy. Kratos, you may not accept that Ragnarok is inevitable, but you're smart enough to know Odin is a threat. Whatever comes next, our best chance of surviving it is to work together. Do you agree? I do. Then as to Brock's offer, you can imagine staying under the same roof as a couple former enemies? No further temptations towards terrible vengeance? Not against you. Free experience! Either of you. You have my word. We have free experience now! I knew they were gonna do it eventually! Freya's alliance unlocks new combat equipment and a unique skill tree. Her use of both sonic and sigil arrows opens new options in combat and puzzles. Let's go! Freya customization. With their alliance sealed, Freya can now customize a variety of combat abilities and equipment. Press L1 or R1 to view Freya. Upgrade Freya's sword in any shop to improve her strength in combat. Down to look at her runic summon. Freya uses her affinity with satyr magic to conjure a deadly poison gas cloud that seeks out her enemies, disrupting the battlefield. Okay. Freya's runic summons provide critical aid in combat and can be activated by holding square. Runic summons take time to recharge. That makes sense. Go to the armor tab. Find and equip different armor to change Freya's look. She also benefits from shared accessories that are just combat style for her and Atreus. Okay, so she and Atreus share accessories. That makes sense. Skills tab. Freya has a unique skill tree that uses experience she earns separately in combat and quests. Unlock vine summons, poison attacks, Valkyrie moves, and other skills. She did, like, turn into a Valkyrie for a bit, didn't she? All right. Kind of saw this coming as soon as they were, like... when at, at, Earlier in the game, when they were, like, companion... Called Atreus, like, a companion. I was like, oh, so there are more companions, huh? And then Freya started to get into the business. I was like, oh, Freya's gonna be a companion. I see it coming. Vanir magic, archery, and Valkyrie. I want Valkyrie stuff. Freya enters her Valkyrie form to slash through enemies. That's so sick! It's what we in the business call Pog. Freya enters her Valkyrie form and unleashes a barrage of air. More Valkyrie? The more Valkyrie Freya can be, the better. Becomes much more aggressive in the battlefield, parrying and charging in at enemies more often. Goddess aggression? Yeah. I'm just gonna go ahead and take all of those without even looking at anything else. All right, pretty good. And then we already have the rooting enemies in place thing. Frey adds more specialized abilities to her ranged attacks. Very nice. Enters Valkyrie form to rise into the air before slamming into the ground to launch enemies. Kratos sends an enemy flying backwards. A square appears above Freya. If pressed, she dashes towards the enemy and strikes for high damage. I like that. I, I love the Valkyrie stuff. All right, very good. I am pleased with this. Freya armor. And then armor is just like... Uh, Agony's Promise, Warrior's Battle Dress, Tattered Witch Frock. Like, now, uh, armor like this is just cosmetic, I believe. I do like... This is, like, what she wore throughout the first game, right? I do like the look of that. This is also pretty good. I think I'm just gonna leave her in Agony's Promise, I think. Accessories. Yes, increased status, thank you. Sonic arrows deal increased status, upgrade increases the strength of this yada yada. Enemies killed from runic arrow explode, dealing significant- Yeah, 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 that one, I like that one. Melee attacks against an enemy afflicted with Sonic deal greatly increased stun. I'm not really, like, putting you towards Sonic stuff. That's Atreus' bag. Using a health or rage stone refunds one runic arrow and reduces runic summon's cooldown. That's pretty good. When a runic summon is on cooldown, greatly increases the status applied from runic arrows. I don't like that one as much because I feel like I'm not going to often remember to use the runic summon. So let's go with this one. Because it refunds a runic arrow at least. Let's go with that. Back to Sindri we go. This lock is different from others you might know. You'll need an enchantment on your chisel to use it. 
Okay, do I have that? Oh, you have it. Nice. Luna. Go ahead. Carve the letter. Oh, whoops. I didn't mean to do that. I did it right. It's an incantation. I'll speak it. Totally on purpose. Su -na. Lovely. Working together is already opening doors for us. Uh, Mirror. Is he always making puns like that? Kratos refuses to respond. We're blocked by more vines. Remember what to do? Are they all connected? I can't tell. Let's find out. Nope. No, not that one. Yeah, there. Can I just put down as many as I could possibly ever need? I think some of them are vanishing as I do more and more. All right, we got it. We got it. There's a fallen log in the river. It has something on it I don't recognize. Uh, how do I switch you? Okay, yeah, Sonic arrows just like in the first game. Sonic that. All right, very nice, very nice. So it's true. Tears really alive? Aye. Not exactly ship shape. He sleeps in a broom closet now, but he's adjusting. <laughs> how did you find him? Largely, that's down to Atreus having figured out how to access the prophecies giants reserved for their own kind. We only learned of it ourselves after Thor and Odin came calling. To your home? Is it still standing? Barely. But all the violence was seemingly just a distraction to let Odin have a private word with Atreus. Odin was alone with your son? Did he tell you what they spoke of? Yes. He said that Odin invited him to Asgard to help him find his answers. The answers he's rushing into fate in search of. That's troubling. <laughs> you're telling me. Well, if you're ready to talk to him, the Mystic Gateway is ahead. If not, I have some unfinished business up this river I could use your help with. Or we can follow up on that elven sanctum out in Alfheim's desert. Hmm. If you want to continue exploring, we'll need to remove that log in the river. All right, so we, we got some extra stuff to be what doing. Is this? The crest of Skirnir, never quite as smart as he thought. The family crests. Oh my goodness. Though he comes from one of Vanaheim's oldest families, Skirnir never considered himself a Vanir. Never considered himself, well, much of anything, truth be told. Skirnir was loyal to no one but Skirnir. He was that particularly infuriating brand of intellectual who forever seeks to place himself above others by refusing to ever be pinned down on any specific philosophy. If there were an issue with two sides, Skirnir would find a way to stand right in the middle and declare himself superior to all. Okay. If there were a fence separating two pastures, he'd find a way to bounce directly on its edge. When Odin visited his wrath upon Vanaheim, Skirnir learned the consequences of neutrality. Neither side could be sure of where his loyalties lie, and so neither side could trust him. For the Anhurar, or whatever they're called, that meant they'd chop his head off at the first available opportunity, which, given that the Vanir refused to provide him with shelter, came considerably sooner than Skirnir expected. Well, that's what you get. What's this about? I've seen one of these before, haven't I? Still something I can't interact with, I guess? I'm glad we can finally deal with those, like, magical gold doors with all the words floating around them. Well, uh, you know what, Freya, just to show how together we are with our new alliance. Can you shoot this? There you go. I am willing we to help. We can explore the river now. We can hopefully write some old wrongs. We do a lot of writing old wrongs in these games. Hey, Freya, you want to grab that for your boy? Thank you. Yo, to defense, don't mind if I do. What is your unfinished business? I left something behind, near the falls. Your wedding site? Now why do you want to be going back there? To be free of the bonds of my marriage. And to Asgard. I think you severed that a long time ago. Not completely. Not enough. Guide us. Freya's missing piece. Let's go. Look at all these animals around here. Track. 
Reach the entrance of Freya's wedding shrine. Joy, oh joy. Hidden region. My people river settled Delta. this river many ages ago. Very Greek. Thousands traveled it on pilgrimage to the shrine of worship. But then the Aesir came. This is all that's left. What's going on right here, huh? What's that door over there? No tons guard. <laughs> Sup, loser? Changing arrows! Yeah, hit him. I need that axe back, thank you. Hi, bud. Oh, you got some little buddies there I can't help but notice. Yo, calm down, calm down. This is a big lad. I fought one of you before, didn't I? But you were on fire. You know what? I'm angry. Maybe I'm the one who's on fire. Or maybe I've got a giant rock. D did I miss that rock? Are you kidding me? Come here and die. No, it's fine. I got this. I got this. See you later, sucker. Ooh. Yeah, don't worry. You're not gonna you're not gonna need that head when I'm done with you. Come here. Daughter Bronger. Yeah, sure. I can pronounce things. Are you exploded? Ow. Stabby stab. Explode, please. Oh, he's exploding, alright. Well done, Freya. Well done. Let me hit you. There we go. Not too shabby. Oh my goodness, where did you come from? What the heck? Who put that there? Freya, help me. Alright, not too bad. Not too bad. Take that, idiot. That's what you get for being weak to ice. Hi. Hello. Nope. Not today, old friend. Not today. Hey, do your do your runic summon thing. Yeah, there you go. Poison this fool. Check this out. Charging up. Take that. Can't forget my hold R1 move. I love that move. One of my favorite moves. All right. The creatures weren't always this ravenous. The ecosystem. It's out of balance. That darn global warming, man. Under the rainbow. All is desolation. Astrid from How to Train Your Dragon? Astrid. No. I love that film. Hi. Spirit. Freya, you returned. Astrid. What happened to you? To your garden? The Ainhariar. My life's work rotted. My monument to your glory reduced to this. I am sorry, my queen. You need never apologize to me, old friend. I swore to keep this garden in bloom until it returned to live forever amongst its putrescence. A just punishment. I will return, Astrid. Kratos, we purge this garden of poison. Yeah, all right. Makes it easier Why? for me anyway. The earth is a reflection of those descendants. So long as the land is plagued, her soul will be as well. All right, sure, whatever you say. Destroy the totems. They're poisoning Astrid's garden. When you say destroy... You Setting it off could help. Oh, I need to, like, blow something Maybe up? you can hit it from a different angle. Hit what from a different angle? Slightly confused, not gonna lie. So, when you say explosive... What you- what you talking about? Oh, hello. There's something behind me? This mentions a spell that puts trolls to sleep. A oh, how magic nice. relic that acts as a sort of counter spell. How not nice. Casualties caused. Think of a large number, then double it. Method of imprisonment. Not slumber. Prison location. Vanaheim. Date of release. Nah. The trolls devoured too many dwarves to count before I put them to sleep. I doubt they'd be in a better mood after getting slapped with the rousing relic. Imagine being stuck in the same position for any period of time. Ugh. Imprisonment overseen by Alvis Stonefoot, Zvartalheim. <laughs> 